Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name is Simone. Today I am going to do a review of this Galaxy Caramelised Hazelnut Vegan Chocolate. So if you're new here I am um, attempting to go plant based. So whilst I'm eating a lot of whole foods there are them times where you want to have some chocolate or cakes or something like that. So I picked this up at my Tesco's in the UK and it was £3.00. 400 grams so obviously for a non-vegan version of this you could pick it up for probably a pound so it's three times the price but I thought give it a go so the ingredients are sugar cocoa butter hazelnut paste dried rice syrup cocoa mask caramelized hazelnuts um hazelnut pieces and it says may contain milk cereals containing gluten gluten and nuts but it says it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans so yeah and the sleeve is compostable as well which is good so i'm going to open it now i apologize for the grainy footage but i'm using my phone and it's crap so this is what it looks like so and i think even the inside breaks down as well so better for the environment i can't wait to try this because i really did like the original galaxy so it looks like with all the little pieces in. So. Mm. Right. I really like it. It's really sweet. It doesn't melt in your mouth like a, a Galaxy original would, but I don't know if it's a rice that they use or what because I've had other vegan bars and I feel that it just, I don't know, the dried rice, so that's it. If someone gave me this and said it was a galaxy and said it wasn't a galaxy, I wouldn't have guessed that it was a galaxy. It doesn't have that signature. Do you know like that galaxy galaxy, that smooth flavour? But I suppose it's got the hazelnuts in. The hazelnuts are very, very prominent. If you really like hazelnuts and you'll like this, definitely. And they are quite, it's quite crispy, you know, like inside because it's caramelised. But like I said, it's, it's, if you've had vegan chocolate before, maybe you'll know what I mean, but it's like, do you know when you have like, chocolate with milk in, it melts in your mouth and it kind of coats your tongue, it doesn't do this, it kind of breaks down, but it doesn't disintegrate into like, chocolate paste or like melted chocolate, if you get what I mean. I think it's a really, really good alternative especially if you like your chocolate so i would definitely think about getting it this compared to the mood chocolate i've got a review on mood on mood chocolate and i think i've got another review as well um on another chocolate bar if i have i will link that down below and above if you want to check them out i would say this is my favorite yeah i would say it's my favorite vegan bar I do like them, I think I pronounce no more bars. I think I might have done a review on that, like I said, I'll leave it below. I do really like them. They are 90 pence for, I think, maybe 50 grams or 80 grams, but Holland and Barrett in England, they sometimes um, have them on special offer. Oh, that was it. I've not done a review on the normal bar. I've done one on the Almond Bliss. I really like that one. That's a white chocolate bar. So this compared to that, I just, I like that one better because I do like white chocolate. But for um, a brown chocolate, I would say that, yeah, this one is nice. I've had Co-op's own chocolate before and I've had Tesco's own brand. But again, I really feel like that rice, I won't say it tastes like rice, but whatever that texture is, maybe because I don't know, I don't know whether it's because rice isn't glut glutinous or what, but it just gives it that weird texture. And you do kind of get it coming through this, but I think that maybe the hazelnuts and the crunchiness kind of mask it. But I think my kids will like this. I might be eating all of it. 
Mm. Ja, du skal da nok at tage det så. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think this is a really, really good alternative to milk chocolate. I would say that it's the closest that you're going to get. If there's any other chocolate bars that you think will are really good, vegan ones, and please let me know because I am always willing to give them a try. But this is really, really, really delicious. I'm glad that I got it. So I'm going to go and give the kids some. So I know it's quite a bit of a long review, but I wanted to give you my full thoughts on it. And if you've tried this, please let me know. There are other flavours. Um, I think there might be like a salted caramel one and there's another one, like an orange one, but I'm not really into orange and that's why I got this because I really do love hazelnuts. So I would buy this again, but probably just the odd time because it is a bit pricey. But yeah, I hope you liked this review and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please... Would you mind subscribing to my channel if you like this type of content? And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.